Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to our second HTML tutorial. Um, I just had some breakfast, so I'm feeling pretty good, ready to make some new, new tutorials. Okay, um, let's recap on what we did. In our previous tutorial, we remember we downloaded a WAM server which installed a, a WAM folder. Within that WAM folder, we have our root directory and we created a first folder which is representing our first website and within that we have our index.php file okay let's close that out okay this is the HTML markup we did previously um, as you can well in fact this is HTML5 markup right here we're not going to be using HTML4 that's the old thing we're going to be using the latest HTML uh, markup language Okay, um, we have here our doc type. This tells the once the, the web browser loads the page, this tells the browser that this is an HTML document, and in fact, it tells the browser that this is an HTML5 document. Okay, now continuing within our HTML tag, our first HTML tag, we need to do this. We're going to put lang equals in English. This tells the browser that this the language on this this page right here is. English is in the language of English. Okay. Um, then we have our title tag right here, our first web page. Okay, now below the title tag, we need to put in some meta tags. So we're gonna go meta and we're gonna go, we're gonna use one meta tag. We're not gonna use an opening and closing, we're gonna use one meta tag uh, with a simple slash right here to close it all. Okay, now within this meta tab, we're going to go character set equals utf8. Okay, this tells the tells the, the browser that the character encoding on this page is in the form of utf8. Okay, we're going to put in our another meta tag. Close it out. Within this meta tag, we're going to say uh, name and we're going to call it description okay and content we're going to follow it this is now the content tells the tells the browser right well in fact this this is for search engines basically right mainly for search engines this will tell the search engine what what what's what's the, the the what content you have on your page what's the whole idea or the, the main idea of the content you have on your page so I'm gonna say this is my first web page with so um, random info. Okay, and um, we're gonna put in another meta tag. Close it off. Uh, we're gonna put in name meta tag name. This time we're gonna say keywords. Okay, and the content will be some keywords. Now, this is the key. This is some keywords that um, you think people would be searching for in search engines like Google. So, but these keywords have to be reflective of the content you have on your page. So, we're gonna say uh, first web page. Uh, Random info. Okay, uh, we want to say some text. Okay, so these keywords, like I said, it should be reflective of what you have on your page at this moment right here. Okay, now below this, we're going to put in uh, some style tags. Style. We're gonna put in an opening and closing style tag. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna put in the type attribute. The type attribute will tell what type of styles we have, um, what type of style we have in, in this style within these style tags. Are we gonna put CSS? Sorry, text slash CSS. Okay, and within here, your CSS will be played. Now, CSS cascading style sheets, we'll be getting into that later, um, is used to position elements, HTML elements, such as this paragraph tag, is used to position these HTML elements on the page, the design. Okay, now, a main thing we need below these style tags right here, we need to put in an HTML5 shift. Now, what is an HTML5 shift? Um, HTML5 shiv is basically a a, a a a set of JavaScript that is used um, to enable a browser such as Internet Explorer, right, to to recognize HTML5. So let's go over to the HTML5 shiv. Go over to Google. Okay, now type in HTML5 shift. Okay, now we are on Google Codes, right? So just go down here and copy this right here. Copy it. And go back over to your, your page and paste it right here. Now this this um this this script, the JavaScript right here is hosted on Google's website. Okay, so you simply copy it and paste it right here. So once Internet Explorer comes across this shift right here, they will recognize that yes, it is in fact HTML5. Okay, because without it, Internet Explorer would not recognize it. Other browsers would recognize it, but not Internet Explorer. Okay, so below this, and below these styles right here, we could even put well, in fact, we're going to put our JavaScript right here. So we're going to throw a script tag. And we're going to put our type attribute. And we're going to say it's text slash JavaScript. Okay. And within this right here, we're going to place our JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is the language used to, to provide interactivity to HTML elements on the page. Okay, so uh, let's say you want to you want to create a, a, a commenting script, right, which will allow people to put, to to comment on whatever content you have. JavaScript will enable the the, the script to prevent um, the page from Reloading, so the the the, the comments will, will automatically load on the page without the page being reloaded. But we'll get into JavaScript later on as well. Okay, so basically this is what we have here. We have our title. Okay, we have our meta character set UTF-8. We have our meta description. These are for the search engines. Meta description and the content, whatever content we have on our page. We have a meta name, keywords, uh, the content will be keywords that we think people will be searching for but these keywords need to be reflective of the content we have on our page here we have our style tags in this style tags we'll be placing our CSS to position to position elements HTML elements on the page we have our HTML5 shift to enable um, Internet Explorer to recognize that we actually have HTML5 Okay, we have our JavaScript tags. Okay, in here we'll be placing our JavaScript. Okay, and our body and our paragraph tag right here. Okay, so this is the basic HTML markup setup for HTML5. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here for now, but don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.